Hello and welcome back to Ask a Plant Doctor. Nothing says game on for gardening season than it's time to plant those tomatoes. And nothing spells success, screams success louder than a tomato laden with beautiful ripened fruit. I wonder if there is anything that we can do to ensure those tomatoes to have a great yield. Let's ask our plant doctor. Oh, I heard something about tips and tricks for planting tomatoes, and I thought I'd share with you and maybe the bystanders some uh, some tricks for planting your tomato correctly. This is our tomato stand-in for today. It's in the same family at least. And what I want to start with is by showing you that when you're going to plant your tomato, what you want to do is pull the leaves off on the lowest part of the stem. And if you look right here, I'm just pulling these, pinching these leaves right off. I'm gonna put this in the ground, we don't need these. I'm gonna put this in the ground and bury all of this so that way this part of the stem will develop roots and it's gonna uh, help get our tomato off to a good start. So I should have started with this. Uh, it's always good to water your tomato before you plant. So the, the night before, even the morning before, make sure your plant has plenty of water in it because this is gonna be kind of a shock. I know when I move, it's always a shock to me and when we transplant plants, they go through a period of shock. So make sure they get a good drink before you put them in the ground. Now I'm gonna take this out. I'm gonna try and slide it as easily as I can without disrupting the roots too much. And you'll notice that I have a trench here instead of a hole. Something unique to tomatoes is that we can actually plant them like this in the hole. All of the space on the stem here where I took the leaves off earlier is going to start growing roots and that's what we want. We want lots of great roots growing out of our tomato stem. Now you see that I've put this nice and deep in the hole. You want to make sure the roots are covered. Depending on the size of the tomato plant you have, you just want to make sure that the roots are well covered with soil and that they're not exposed to the air or that they're not going to dry out. So I'm, I've put this one about four inches deep because it was in a, a smaller pot. If you have a gallon pot, of course, you're going to have to deep, dig a deeper hole. So I'm putting it right there and I'm just going to gently fill in the soil around it like this. Now, when I do this, you can see how it's resting on the ground. Overnight, this is gonna this is gonna respond to being on its side like this, and within a week or so, it should be growing straight up and down like this. As I'm putting this in the ground, I want to make sure that it has plenty of water. So I don't want to spare the water at this point. I want to make this nice and muddy. We want to we want to make sure there are no air bubbles in the soil where the roots aren't going to make contact with the with the soil and it's a good excuse to get a little dirty and have fun so see i haven't buried it all the way i can still bury it even more all the way up like this and if i wanted to i could put something here to prop this up but i really don't need to um, within a, a couple, I said a week earlier, probably in many cases, even within a few days, this is going to grow straight up and down. And I have all of this stem underground now that's going to grow a great big healthy root system. And uh, that's what we want. We want healthy roots because the more, the more roots we have, the more they're taking in minerals and nutrients that are moved up to the plant and into the fruit of the tomato for us to eat. So that's my, my tip for uh, getting started, getting your tomatoes off to a good start. And in another video later, we'll talk about trellising.